Okay, well, we're going to do a little uh, water hole work today. We're going to fill up a water hole that I put back in the timber here, and I created a little pinch point. I'm having a lot of activity, but I'm having a hard time keeping it full of water this year because it's been so dry. So we got four uh, five-gallon jugs. We're going to try to fill this 70-gallon uh, water tank up. It's going to take a couple trips. Water holes are a great tool on my farm because it creates a center of activity. I hang a licking branch, I keep it full, and over the last year or so, I've started to create a hub, a center point where everything likes to come. So I've got a, uh, all the deer like to come. So I got a uh, trail camera on that site and I'm getting a lot of photos. Early, I get mostly uh, doe photos and, and young uh, bucks. But later on, as the rut goes on, uh, as these uh, bucks are, looking for water because they're cruising they're hot they're gonna come in here not only to get a drink but they're gonna come in here to check the scent licking branch as they move through you can take these areas and you can kind of spruce them up a little bit make them a little bit more attractive by doing some hinge cutting which is what I've done I've created a small hinge cut that I continue to work on but I'm laying down some blocking on one side and I'm trying to open up the other and I'm gonna try to create a line of travel come around to this uh, water hole and obviously I've got a tree stand there as well. So it can be a great management tool, it can be a great inventory spot and obviously it's a great social center for the deer with the adding of the licking branch and the water. Now one of the things that I recommend is that when you do this you try to find a place that's easy access because um, if you're going to be carrying them in like I am this is a lot of work. Another thing about this spot here is that it's easy access for me to hunt as well. The water hole is just inside the timber here, maybe about 40, 50 yards. With a northwest wind, I'm approaching the water hole with the wind in my face, and I can in exit and enter very quietly, very stealthily, really important. So it's just a great social site uh, to set up and great place to hunt. a little quiet here but uh, what I have to do is I have to carry this water and we've had a really dry year and I'm having to come in with these jugs by hand and fill this up because the rain is not so if that's a situation where you have make sure you set them up close to where you're entering and exiting because you're gonna be doing a lot of work this is that clear cut I talked about this is a hinge cut area it's only about an eighth acre in size and I'm keeping my voice down a little bit because I have bedding area just north of here and the deer like to travel. So what I've done here is this is in a center corridor travel route of my farm. This is a uh, oak corridor that runs about four or five hundred yards long with fields on that side and fields on that side. I wanted to create a pinch point here. This is about 50 yards wide right here where these deer will come around this. They don't want to walk through that mess. They're going to come around it to the water hole that I have set up in a licking branch. Behind me, I've got a, t a stand all ready to go with access coming off the field and, and back of the camera. So I've got north to northwest here, the predominant wind blowing my scent out of here. Easy in, easy out, great features. It's just a killer setup. Trip number two. Okay, well, that project's done. You know, water holes, there's a great addition to my farm here. Um, I've been putting them in on a line of travels, I said, from the north end to the south end, trying to create that line of travel for the deer. And they're just a great habitat project. And it's something that takes a little bit of effort. Digging the hole isn't easy. Carrying in the water isn't easy, but I tell you what, it pays big dividends, especially when the deer become accustomed to it over the years. It becomes a social hub and they start the, the 
uh, does train their fawns to come there. They know there's water there because I have no water on my property. So not having water on my property in form of a flowage, a lake, you know, stream, river, allows me to put water where I want it, which for me is what better um, overall for management. Hey, I hope you found this interesting, guys. Hey, if you haven't found this channel before and you made it to the end of the video, you know what we talk about is buying, managing, and selling uh, American land. And we're, in the, we're doing a little management project here, and I hope you enjoyed it and you'll do something that's similar on your property. If you're interested in buying land, talking about managing your land, or if you're ready to sell a piece of property, I'd like to be your guy in the land business, you can give me a call anytime. I'm Neil Hogger, and you've been watching the American Landman.